Today's my birthday and I just woke up. So let's see what the day brings. I am now 31 years old. Birthday balloon. I'm a grown woman just like Cindy. This is rainbow chip, not funfetti. Huge difference, rainbow chip is Betty Crocker and the icing is way better. Usually I would put my hair up for this but I just styled it and this is just basically mine. My own little birthday cake. I put it on the pan, I'm just flattening it out. But also when you do this, the filling gets more in the cake. My favorite cake is rainbow chip with raspberry preserves in the middle and then rainbow chip frosting. So that's what we're doing today. I love adding preserves to the middle. It just makes the cake moist. Sorry if you don't like that word. That's a great descriptor for food that's not dry. I'm sure that there are a lot of people who genuinely really hate that word, but I feel like for a while that became like a thing. It was a quirk that I felt a lot of people wanted to be a part of for some reason and I didn't super understand it. Now check out this new trick. I'm going to flatten this one. I'm gonna put this on the cake upside down. Preserves will penetrate into the cake really nicely, but also I'll get a nice flat cake, which I think is really cute. Looks like a hamburger. Do you plan your wishes out before your birthday? I think I started doing that because after people would sing happy birthday to me, like I always kind of sat there for a long time. I think people really want to eat cake. So they're like, hurry up. But like, I'm like perfectly boarding my wish because I think that birthday wishes are like genie wishes. And if you don't word them 100% correctly, I feel like they can get cheeky with the uh, execution of your wish, should it even come true. Birthday wishes don't always come true, do they? But yeah, I like to plan my wish ahead of time to not delay people from getting cake. When I was 25, I think, I wished it to be monotone. I love monotone people. So like, it's so funny, because okay, so like a lot of people who I get along the most with are really monotone and Funny though, everybody who I like a lot is funny, but a lot of people who I hang out with are very monotone and we get along really well and I love like bantering with people and just like rallying jokes with them and stuff. But whenever we talk about movies that we like, we never agree. It's like peanut butter and jelly, complimentary dynamics. Monotone people, appreciate loud crazy comedians a lot more and i'm already loud and crazy like i i really i don't love will ferrell movies I, I really don't like when he yells it makes me anxious i just don't like it but whenever i'm talking with people about it i'm like oh you know what like i can see actually why they would enjoy it so much because they are so monotone it's like it balances them out whereas i really enjoy when seth meyers posted a weekend update and just had that nice dry delivery. I felt like he was so smart, quick and dry delivery. I just really like it so much. So yeah, I think when I was 25, I wished that I could turn monotone. Clearly that didn't happen, which is fine. That's a lot of candles right there. Well, the Y did not survive. <laughs> it melted off. Do you tell people your wishes, like what you wish for? I don't because I heard that they don't come true that way. One of my favorite traditions that I do, I think I've vlogged it before a couple years ago, is I always watch Gossip Girl on my birthday. And I really like to watch the Thanksgiving episode. My family in Canada, and we often combine my birthday party with their Thanksgiving because it's something in October or something. So it's not so far off that Thanksgiving really makes me feel like my birthday. Dan just said, raise your hand if you're over 30 and acting really weird right now. And that hit different. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I am over 30 and acting really weird right now. Oh my god.
How cute is that little squeezy tube? Some sun eating tuna. The guy was like, do you want me to mix it for you? And I wanted to show you guys first, but he already had the spoon out. I didn't want to be rude, so I was like, sure. Whoa. Okay, I'm ready to eat this. What is it called? Like your mandible or something? When you like chew? My crown is getting so crooked from my chewing. <laughs> So the waiter was like, oh, do you have a camera? Because I can take your photo. And I was like, okay, so I handed him this. He's like trying to make a phone call on it. He was just being silly. It was cute. He's like, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It was funny because this camera rules. But it was cute. Because usually can't people use their phones obviously. Can you hear me over the dry eyes? Look. <laughs> that dinner was so good. I'm so sleepy though, it's 11 o'clock. I've never been up this late in my whole life. Just kidding. Someone thought my coat was a dog. <laughs> we were on the 31st floor and this elevator like, gave me like pressure in my ears, but in a good way because it meant I was going somewhere special. I wanna say it's 11.30. I have to take out my weave, take off that dress. I'm gonna do my makeup now. Just, I got so close, <laughs> too tired. I know this clock is fast, but just entertain me for a minute, okay? Here it is, guys, 31.